Okay, so we've got another person here to play around with. Um, and we're gonna Disney fly her because it's fun. We can get we can kind of play around and get some different effects. We're gonna use her eyes. If you notice in all the Disney films, the eyes are completely over the top with the scaling. So let's have some fun. Let's overscale the eyes. First of all, I'm going to take an eye measurement. Now when you're overscaling the eyes, what you're looking at doing as well is closing up the gap over the brow just a bit. You should ultimately have, normally, the same gap between the eyes as equal to an eye length from corner to corner. So as soon as you start making these bigger and closing it up, it's going to look a little bit alien. You have to be careful how far you go with it. I'm going to just turn that measurement 90 degrees. In that part of the nose uh, and that part. Because you're playing around the general proportions of the face, it's handy to have a few anchor points on a reference image. So let's set this up. Okay, um, let's create an eye line. Let's create some big eyes. I don't want to look that big because I'm only on A4 but these are going to look big in comparison to what's normal. I'm going to use half the gap with the brow of the nose compared to the complete eye length. It's going to look like she's on the LSD, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, then I'm going to use this half gap as a measurement as a normal eye length. So I can really set up some Gob smackingly big eyes. So you can see here, I've decided how big the eye is, then I've halved it to get the nose brow difference, then I've got another eye, then I've taken that brow and I've dropped it down three times. One, two, three. My chin's going to be a little bit longer, but ultimately that's all we're looking at. Then I'm going to start drafting in the eyes. This works best when you've got big doughy eyes. You will probably find that you need to exaggerate the lashes and you're going to have fun in games a little bit with the eyebrows. At this point, so her nose is roughly here. Okay. She's got a slight tilt on her head, so be aware of that. Your eye line is tilting. Nice. Then ultimately we're going to have the top lip coming in there, bottom lip. So I'm going to probably bring that up a little bit. And then the chin is going to be here. The jaw is going to come up the side and then into the face like so. Let's just whack in. Here. So let's just draw this in a little bit more polished. Run on the side view of the nose. We've got our front on the other nose.
just using a fine brush. I've got white here, ultramarine blue, crimson red and a little bit of yellow and it's just because I'm drawing this in with the paint to fine tune it. So I'm taking some yellow and some red, I'm adding a little bit of blue and I want to make a brown. I'm going to add a little bit of water. Start fine tuning things. So, put up my nose. starting off there. So once you're happy with that, then you can work up. So let's put in a little bit of skin colour. the key things that you need to be thinking of, all the different colour changes, the pinks, the tones, the highlights, the shadows and the face.
some of the eyes. Um, just need a little bit of skin tone it in with that white or it'll look too harsh. iris a little bit bigger. Okay. And I'm going to run a little bit of pink along the bottom of the lower eyelid. I need to add a little bit of water in.
a little bit of neck tone. So I'm thinking that shadowy tone, which is just a different tone of brown on that leg. Really get you good at mixing browns, observing browns. Bit of shadow there, I'm going to increase the shadow on the nose. see there the two sides so you can see the drawing the measurements how they change and then a bit of light color mixing to bring it up together obviously if you're going to do this in a really hyper realistic caricature which is where this is ultimately going if you look at the works of Darren Brown you can see that you just need to paint lots of very accurate tonal changes on the skin and obviously the features this is an incredibly quick demo that should give you an idea on how to work it. Hope you had fun. Bye!